guys, welcome to Tokyo Creative Talk, where we bring you Japan's latest news and hot topics. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson, and I'm your guest, Kurisu. Yes! More than a guest. I feel like you're just like becoming a regular host. Oh! Oh, we'll see what happens.、Uh, this week in Japan, we're going to be talking about, first of all, Nyan 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 Day, which is very exciting. Do you know what that is? Nyan Nyan. Nyan Nyan, yeah. In Japanese, meowing is Nyan.、Yeah. And February 22nd, because it's 222, which in Japanese is ni, 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 and sounds kind of like a cat meowing. Nyan Nyan, ni, ni. <laughs> so that's why February 22nd is now Nyan Day, or like Cat Day. This is becoming kind of a big day in Japan. People love their cats. As of December last year, a Japanese pet food association. Our com- Japanese pet food company announced that cats are now officially more popular than dogs. I'm a dog person, honestly. Actually, I'm not. You don't、really、like dogs to- either. Yeah, but I've had to choose, I'm more of a dog person. <laughs> but yeah, so it's now、uh, a very big thing. Cats are the biggest booming trend in Japan. Everyone wants to have a cat. Just a nya nya your way through Tokyo. <laughs> Don't mind Chris, he's, he's like <laughs> crazy today. Actually, in Japan, cats are so popular that in 2015 alone, they had an economic effect of 2,136 billion yen. So that's how much influence they've had on the economy. And this、uh, phenomenon is called nekonomics. Oh, God. Neko means cat in Japanese. Wait, is that. Is that, is that a- Japanese people coined that term? Yeah, I think so. Neconomics. People love、uh, putting a word and then economics. That's just a thing.、Oh, so now it's Neconomics. Very exciting. <laughs> If we could have any type of economics, this would be Neconomics. Actually, people love cats so much. They earn so much money in Japan that the amount that they earn is expected to actually exceed the economic. Positive inc- economic influence from the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. Really? Yes! This is the power of Neconomics. Go Neconomics! Companies, like big companies in Japan, have changed their official Twitter names to cat related names. It's cute, it's cute. See, like for example, Bikku Kamera, which is a very famous electronic store. You go there. Bikku Neko? No.、Ah. It's Bikku Kamenya! <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's cute! Bikka <laughs> Kamenya! And also, there's a, there's a toy company called Takara Tomi. Can you guess what it is? Oh、here? god. Takara Tomi nya! It's Takara Tomi nya! Nya! God. <laughs> this is so entertaining. Everyone is jumping on board this Nekonomic Nyan Day. It's a big thing. Everyone loves it. Next topic! I'm sure a lot of you have seen, like on Instagram and stuff, in Harajuku, people with these giant, giant cotton candies. Like huge rainbow cotton candies. Do you、That's、know、like、what I'm talking about? It's like a triangle thingy looking,、yes. right? Like a pyramid? It's like、right? a giant、yeah. triangle sweet delight. So that is really popular in Harajuku, but now there's a new exciting thing coming to Harajuku that you all should know about. The name of the shop that sells this cotton candy is called Toti Candy Factory. Thank you.、Yes. Um, and it's made by a company called Sugar Factory. And this same company has created this new shop with、um, the longest foods in Japan. And their name is kind of says it all. Yeah, but it's called Long, Longer, Longest. No, it's Long, Longa, Longest. And all of the foods are actually really long,、um, almost as long as the name of this shop. The types of foods they have there very, very long ice creams, very, very long potato chips, like.、Mm. Spiral potatoes, if you know what I mean, and very, very long churros, different desserts, and snacks. So, if you want to know how long a regular long ice cream is, how you long have is a long shit? It's a handy、um, <laughs> meter stick, actually. It's not quite a meter stick. 30 centimeters is a long ice cream, and a longer ice cream is 34 centimeters. There's not much difference between them. Not those, a big difference.、Right? But the longest ice cream is 40 centimeters. But look at this, okay? This is the length of the ice cream. Does it even fit on the screen? Can you see this? Holy smokes. The price for a 330, sorry, 30 centimeter ice cream is about 500 yen. And the next is 600, and the longest is 700 yen. About seven bucks. If you would like to jump in on probably what's going to be the newest 
fad of the Harajuku scene. Uh, make sure to make your way to uh, long, the new long, longest. Yeah, long, longer, longest uh, before the lines get too long. Our next and final exciting topic from this week in Japan are the collaboration of Sabre Train Lines and Guritama, which is very exciting. Uh, I think you're all familiar with Guritama, Japan's famous Sanrio character. It's the lazy egg. Gude actually means, you know what it means? I actually don't. Oh, lazy? It does mean uh. lazy. He's got it, he's got it. Gude means basically lethargic. Tama is an egg. So Gude Tama, you get this lazy lethargic egg. It's a cute character if you haven't seen it before. From this March in Japan, um, they are collaborating with the Seibu train line. So now we're gonna have a Gude Tama egg train. Like print on the outside? On the outside, on the inside, there's gonna be some little decorations that are egg themed. It's going to be very exciting. Um, if you're used to seeing regular trains in Japan, they're nice, but they get a little boring, mm. especially when it's super crowded during rush hour. It's not a fun experience. So when you're stressed after work and you get to see the Gurutama train, mm -hmm. oh, energy. <laughs> Exactly. Apparently, this collaboration between the Cebu trains and uh, Guritama trains came about uh, because there is a train actually already in the Cebu line called the Smile Train. Yeah, it's called Smile Train. It was kind of like cutesy, egg themed. And so this, and it was their 10th anniversary of this train. And it's actually coincidentally Guritama's fifth anniversary. And they thought, oh, we have so much egg stuff in common. Let's be friends and um, and so they decided to collaborate and make this awesome Guritama smile train. This train is going to be running on the Ikebukuro lines. Uh, I think it was Toshima and Sayama lines. Oh. Yes. If you want cute things, you need to come to Japan and then just experience all this. Get your long foods, your Guritama train, your cat stuff, everything. <laughs> Japan is just Cute central. That wraps up our hot topics for today and this week. Make sure to stay tuned again next week for some more exciting news from Japan. We've always got the newest information for you. The newest, cutest, and longest. Yeah, so make sure to subscribe and stay up to date with all of the great Japan news that we have to offer. I'm your host, Chizuka Anderson, and... I'm your guest, Chris. <laughs> See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.